laughed so hard when I first read this. I couldn't believe that is true, but apparently it is. So this is how I would describe American corporate politics. I expect that someone at Warner Bro were like, oh God, oh, we missed the train. Oh, we missed the bandwagon. Oh, we need to do something. We need to do something. Give some money to the refugees from Ukraine. No, 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 like something that doesn't have any world implication, like something that's meaningless, but but it gives us the aura as if we're good people and as if we care. So what can we do? Oh, I know. We're going to cancel the Russian language version of Gotham Knight. <laughs> oh, checkmate Russians. Like how many of you actually know English? Like you play video games, you play uh, Batman Arkham Knight. How are you going to play now? You, you, you don't know English. Checkmate. <laughs> you know the reason they're doing it is because I looked at their game and it's absolute shit. And this is how they managed to get the word around. The thing with their game, I, I love the Batman Arkham series. It came out of nowhere. was a very good game. Unfortunately, the only criticism that I had was that the combat was kind of boring at the time. I mean, it's basically like you spam the left mouse button, and whenever someone tries to attack you, you spam the parry button. That was pretty much it. But, like, instead of building on that, instead of making something else that the fans wanted, they decide, you know what we need? We need to put levels in the game. We need to make it like an RPG. <laughs> and make it open world! But I like that. I mean, the previous ones were open world, but make it even more open world, where you can get whatever you want. But in order to prevent you from getting whatever you want, like, the enemies are very high level, and let's add multiplayer into it! <laughs> and obviously, you know, how, how can you have stealth in a multiplayer game? Like, that's not going to work out. I don't even need to play your shitty game. I can look at the trailer, right? So they know that their game is bad, and what they want to do is, like, oh, let's drag some attention. Oh, well, let's piggyback on the human suffering that's happening in Ukraine. Oh, yeah, we care so much. It's like, we're going to remove the Russia thing. And by the way, like, the whole thing with guilt by association, like, I never understand. You need to be such an American to believe that guilt by association will work. Oh, we're going to take the Russian's McDonald's, and we're going to make the Russian feel uncomfortable, and then he's going to rise up against Putin. This is Eastern Europe, motherfucker! Like, life was harsh before the McDonald's left, okay? Like, our parents experienced the famine in Eastern Europe. Russia had it worse. Like, for them, it's another Tuesday. You're just showing them that, oh, we're very spiteful people, okay? We're going to punish you just because you're a Russian. Who do you think they're going to turn to if you do that? They're going to be even more nationalistic. Has the Weimar Republic not taught you a lesson about history? Do you not think that historically... When, when a nation feels threatened from the outside, it becomes more nationalistic rather than less. Obviously, Warner Brothers isn't the one that's responsible for this. But I keep seeing like this mentality forming on the Twitter. It's like, oh yes, uh, we, need, we need collective punishment. We need collective guilt. It doesn't matter if you did something or not, but you were born wrong. You, you, need, to, you need to rise up against Putin and uh, we're going to take your McDonald's away and you're going to do that. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, that's not how human beings work. And seeing all these companies, like, jumping on the bandwagon, you know, instead of donating money to the refugees or helping people, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this trivial nonsense that no one cares about. Let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.